Hello, my friends. This is the Tattooed Toy Hunter. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I purchased um, a basic Braun Strowman, basically for the body, because I want to do some a little work to him and create my own wrestler, something evil, something kind of like Texas Chainsaw Master meets AEW Butcher. I don't know what to expect really, but I thought I'd use this as my buck, my body, pop the head off, try out a few scary uh, wrestler, wrestling or NECA type head sculpts. I might have to customize them by drilling in with my dermal to make them fit the articulation. Uh, I was thinking of maybe adding more tattoos depending on what I name them, and uh, try out some clothing I have just to give them a little different tethered look. So anyway, let's go ahead and open up this figure and see what we're gonna start with. So uh, definitely I probably wouldn't tear up the elite version of him, the new one without the shirt, because that's what I've been wanting that one, and it's just too nice. Basic, I don't really mind so much. So, he stands really big. He's such a big guy. Such a monster among men. <laughs> Pop him back here real quick. We can get a nice little shot of his height. Get a handy ruler here. So he is just, just under eight. Like seven and three quarters. Really big guy. So that's gonna work really well for what I want him the beast I want to create. So let's take a look at his head. I'm going to kind of go off camera and see if I can force this off. It's tight, so I may have to go soak that in hot water and try again. So give me a moment. Okay, it took a little while to be honest, but it popped right off. Now, I wouldn't suggest kids to do this. If you need help, I would definitely ask a family member because uh, he, the water's got to be boiling. So you don't want to burn yourself. So I soaked it in here in the wa boiling water for a minute and it popped right off. I was able to save the joint, the, the neck uh, articulation point there. So now having to do that, I got to find a couple of possible uh, face head sculpts to uh, make our evil our evil wrestler. So it's either gonna be, I believe, uh, Eddie or the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They both have the same uh, smaller articulation point and I'm gonna dermal that out so that I could use both is what my goal is because they look like they would, both of them need to be uh, sculpted in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that. And uh, so I got just this ordinary uh, hyper tough Walmart name brand uh, dermal tool. It comes with a lot of different uh, sizes. This one is the one that I find closest to the neck, point, the neck point, the neck joint. So I'm gonna uh, start with this figure, and I'm gonna try to drill. I'm gonna try to drill this hole a lot bigger so that they're that a uh, ball will fit into it. So as you can see, it works really quick. A little slower on some uh, on some of these uh, plastics. Oh, that was hot. So I'll drill into it, and we'll keep testing the hole until it pops right in. I don't think this one's going to take too much more. So we'll drill it one more time. to go deeper as well so that the neck joint can be completely hidden. That's definitely what I would want to do. Okay, pull off camera here so I can see if I'm lined up here. Okay, so it works well, but I'm gonna have to go a little lot deeper. For Get 
<laughs> end up starting. Okay, so as you can see it's fitting a lot better. I uh, may have to um, let's see. No, it fits pretty good. I might go a little deeper just to kind of get that neck sunk down just a little more, but it's working really well. And I like the fact that this is soft when I put that joint in there. So I think he fits in there really well. And the cool thing is that works. So 20 bucks for a little uh, dermal tool. And it's so now what I want to do is uh, I need to find myself a Sharpie and I'm going to see about, or some paint, and see about uh, fully tattooing this guy. I'm going to... Paint, I want to paint the pants too, solid black, and then I have this piece here that may fit. This is actually from a Dexter toy, but I kind of wanted to have him like the butcher on AEW, and that seems to fit really well. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, look for a Sharpie. I'll try to do some ink work on him. I may add a little color, I don't know, maybe black and gray. And then uh, we'll see what he looks like when he's finished. And at the end of the video, I would like you to comment below on a name for him as a wrestler. I think that would be really cool. So see you in a bit. All right, friends. So I'm back, I found a Sharpie. I'm not sure if I should do a, like a real light sand on him and if this will stay or wipe off, so kind of give you an idea what I want to do and then I'll cut to the finished product but I kind of wanted to tattoo this guy up like you know I'm not a good artist or anything but maybe I can like draw an anchor doesn't look like an anchor maybe I'll do like a little some designs And we'll kind of bring these together, maybe make some different types of, uh, like here could be, I don't know if I can get a skull in, but. It's not good. <laughs> but you know what? I think it uh, actually does fill in really nice. So. I think I'll keep doing some just type of designs like that, let it dry. If this stays on without being wiped off, then I'm gonna leave it as is. Uh, you know, just to give this guy, we gotta really set him apart from the Strowman. So that's the plan. But anyway, I'm gonna give this uh, tattoo a moment or two to dry, and then we'll test and see if it's gonna wipe. If it stays on, then we're gold. Also, remember, be thinking of a name and maybe even a finisher for him and a design because I have a lot of different clothes. I got the butcher's apron. I've got a, an extra leathery uh, duster coat from one of my uh, undertakers that he could use. I think he's pretty big enough. I've got a lot of different clothing I can use on this big guy. So uh, just keep thoughts out. We'll let this dry. And I'll okay, right. so I kind of created a, some old, ugly looking tattooing with a Sharpie I found. And I think it look, came out really good. It matches the work he already had. I just kind of scribbled on him. I put a few pictures. As you can see under the arm, 666. But uh, I think he looks pretty cool with the mask. And uh, I'm gonna cover up the camo. And then I guess we can take a look at maybe some clothing options after that. So see you back in a bit. So I had painted up all the rest of the pants with a Sharpie. And just in case it dries with a semi-shine, I kind of went over even the areas that didn't need it just to blend in. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do 
Aside from later, I'm gonna darken those uh, boots, but I need to find like some. Uh, I do have acrylic paints, but I think I wanna try a dark brown Sharpie because of how well this dried and worked. All right, so let's go ahead and look at a few things of clothing and that'll be the video. All right, my friends, so I wanna go ahead and show you a few options I have. I found some clothes. Now this is gonna be my favorite, which is an amazingly, amazingly made uh, Undertaker coat duster. So I think he would look amazing in that. I need to get some more clothing for 112 scale one in these guys. Y'all let me know what you think combinations wise. Like, can, you know, it could wear like a goofy Hawaiian shirt, some jean shorts. Let's see, I, this right here may or may not fit. It was kind of molded for 30th Undertaker. This is from Kenny Omega. And that it's open, it may work. You know, I don't know, the arms are maybe too thin. I found this from some of my old, uh, let's just be over here. some old uh, spawn figures. So we could do like, give him some time of, of entrance theme, something weird. This would fit, but it's kind of Western looking, but maybe it goes with uh, kind of his look. Uh, if you think I should add some red into the tattoos, darken the boots, maybe change a face. Let me know in the comments below. I wanna work on him a little more. I got this amazing jumpsuit, but unfortunately I think he's way too big for it. That would be cool for someone. Uh, like I had said before, also I like this. I don't know, cause I like the butcher guy on AEW. I think he's cool, so let's tie it up and see what it looks like. I'm gonna do some more work on him. Uh, once we all agree on a name, it's gonna get put on his back or somewhere. So for now, we'll leave him like this. And again, like I said, we can add tattoos. We can do anything. We could change the color of this mask. But here's our uh, creation so far from the basic and from a few extra parts I had. And uh, never give up that hunt. Maybe we'll... Uh, we can do something cool with one of these pieces. It's a scar. Anyway, here's a cape. <laughs> he may look cool with a cape on. Y'all take care. Pew, 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 pew. Never give it the heck. And their opponents from Buffalo, New York, at a combined weight of 501 pounds, the Butcher and the Blade. Two of my favorites. Blow that pyro off, I love it, brother. Two of my favorite guys, man. I love these two guys. I hang out, we talk all the time, we pound beers, it's 